Hey guys, I've got a bit of a, a bad review to bring to you today. This is the new Gerber armbar in Onyx. There are very few good things I've got to say about this tool. Um, I'll feed in some footage to show you some of these tools. Uh, I mean, using the bottle opener, that little uh, bit on the top there, it looks good. I've heard people saying how awesome it is and how much it tears into bottles, but in reality, when I tried to open a bottle with this, it just bent the metal. It just bent the metal up and didn't pop the actual top off because that little groove at the bottom is too curved and grips too well, which doesn't sound like a problem you should have with a bottle opener, but trust me, it's a problem that's there. Um, something they should have thought out a little better tried it a few more times because i did i mean i've only tried to open a handful of bottles with it um i've tried to make use of it more but i found that after having this for two three days it just ended up being left on the side um just it couldn't be bothered with it because well there's just where do i start so with the scissors so when you take those out, you have to get into this center bit right with your finger fingernail. If you ain't got a fingernail, you ain't getting it out. Once you get them out, you've then got to do this fiddly bit to get it round and get it to work. Now this, when I first got it, would only open up about that far, which is not very much at all. I had to bend this spring over so it bends back or it springs back and actually forces that back open more and i've heard of loads of people having the same complaint it just they're just not great out of the factory um with regards to cutting paper they do an all right job but there's just there's a whole lot of tool there there's a lot of space taken up by a tool that just isn't that great and that seems to be an occurring theme or a recurring theme for this tool the second tool that they, I think they've just sort of said, well, we'll throw that in there just because it's the only tool we can think of that fits, is you've got this little tiny awl, which is sharp. It is very, very sharp. Um, it could puncture quite a bit, uh, getting through plastic and a few bits and bobs that I've tried it with. It was no problem at all, but it just feels like it's lacking. Um, I feel like What's the point in going to have the girth at the bottom, which you would never be able to reach because of the design of itself holding that off? Um, it's just Again, it's something that they didn't seem to really think about. And then there's my biggest complaint, is the screwdriver. It's just not that great. When you take this out, it's all well and good, You've got nice straight screwdriver style tool to, to go and work with and that seems and looks like it would do the trick, no problem, brilliant. However, realistically, when you put it to use, there is no lock, so it just closes up on you. And that is a bad tool. I tried it on about three or four screws and gave up because it is just useless. The lock is not very strong at all. There is practically no force. I can do it on the side of my nose without barely moving my nose. Although it probably looked like I've flexed quite a bit there, but it just, it's not very good. They could have put a little lock in there somewhere. They, they, what they should have done, I know some people may be in a disagree, uh, disagree with me on this, this would make all the difference on this tool for me, personally, as a, as a UK user, if they had a lock on this by putting it on that side and then had the blade as a slip joint, that would make this UK legal. I could carry this anywhere. It would actually be a very handy tool because it has a proper locking, decent screwdriver, a slip joint blade, and a few other tools. That would make it ideal for the UK market. It would go very far. Uh, I could recommend this, and I could actually say that this is a tool that has a couple of flaws, but still recommend it. As it stands, don't buy this tool. Avoid it. It is useless. I don't think there's a single tool on here that does its job that well other than it's a knife and that 
doesn't really need explaining. I don't feel that it's a bad knife, but as a knife, brilliant, yeah, it works. It'll cut things. It's not amazing steel. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all these specifics and pedantics of all of that. It does its job as a knife, but as an entire tool and selling it at the price they're selling it, especially at the price some places are selling it on the UK market, this is a very expensive tool at around 50 pound from some places, uh, which equates to about 60, 65 dollars close to there. Um, which I know in the in the US it is actually only thirty nine dollars. So how they've managed to come up with that price over here, I don't understand. But I think some people are trying to profit uh, a little too much on this. But until they make some design changes or whatever else, I'd say give this one a pass. Don't bother with it. If it wasn't the fact that I just wanted it for the collection, I'd be sending it back. Um, but I will keep all of it, just more so for a. Uh, an ornament than anything else. Uh, another thing, no pocket clip, no lanyard hole. Um, you could argue that there's a little tiny hole on the back there, which if you were very careful, you could thread a little bit of string through there and get a uh, almost a paracord or something onto the back of it poorly, uh, which would probably get in the way every time you go to use certain features on it. But uh, yeah. Because there is no lanyard, there is no pocket clip, you can see, oh, I don't know if it will pick up very well, but there is scuffs and marks, and especially on this end, there's a bit of a ding where it's just had to sit free in my pocket, and that has caused it to get scuffed against other things. Yeah, I know you could put it in a pocket in its own, or put it in a slip or whatever else, but it kind of defeats the point. You need to be able to throw this, clip it on the side of your pocket, protect it a little bit, have it ready to use, but even if it was ready to use, the tools just wouldn't do the job that they're ask, being asked to do very well. So reiterating, give it a pass, guys. Not at all worth investing any time or money into. Unless you like doing modifications and you think you can do something with it uh, in terms of somehow incorporating a, a lock into the screwdriver would be the main thing. But with those tools inside, that would be hard to do, uh, which is why I suggest swapping it for the blade. So the blade is on that side and has a slip and vice versa. But unless that's done, it's just a hunk of junk. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the review and I shall see you next time. Cheers.